What we have here is this. This is a black bag with something inside of it. And there we have my shadow. She follows me around everywhere. Nothing I can do about it. Wherever I go, she follows. Check this out, watch, watch, watch. Walking out of the room, up the stairs, on the toilet. See that? And here we are back down again. And uh, there she is. Right, so anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open this up and uh, show you what it is. All right, this is gonna be a one hand job. Uh, what? That didn't sound right. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna just take this out like this with one hand. There it is. All right, so as you can tell, she's not really interested in that. She's more interested in this black bag. So somebody asked me if I had a guitar, I said yes. They asked me if it was electric, I said I have one of those too. They asked me if I had an amplifier, I said I did. Until I blew it up. So now, I've got this. Which I'm gonna probably do the same too. Now this, I'm not too sure of the brand, Volcano. Never heard of it before in my life, except for real volcanoes which do go off now and then, but we don't have any here. But yeah, we're gonna take it apart and have a look at it. Can you see the speaker? I'm not sure if you can see it that well, but it's right there and staring me right in the face. All right, so I'm gonna take this upstairs now and we can continue the video up there. All right, so here we are upstairs and when I say we, I mean she too. So I like the way these dials spin, they're nice and smooth. And also this has volume, bass, treble, middle, presence, My other one didn't have presence, and it didn't have middle. I don't think it had middle. So we'll give this a quick test. Plug this into the back, and my legs are a different color to my hands. And now I'll take my guitar and plug it in to here, and turn it on. Okay, well that seems as though it gets pretty loud. Okay, so it's loud, clean, sounds pretty decent, but it doesn't have the distortion effect. You can get pedals, which do that, chorus, reverb, and all that sort of stuff, but I don't need that. I've got plugins that do what I want. Uh, so what I'm gonna do with this is open it up and take out the speaker, because that's that's the only real reason I, I decided to take this. Uh, I'm gonna take the speaker out, and we're gonna play around with that instead. All right, let's start off with the back of it. And is it gonna come off? It is. Megatone equipped. Parksland Megatone amplifier. How am I gonna take this out? Gonna have to take the grill off. And we have uh, a problem, slight problem. Let's use this. Not quite. I'm just bending it. Let's slide it to the side. Ah, there we are. And lift that and then slide that side. All right, there's the speaker. All right, so I'm gonna put this recording on pause for now because bending down like this has given me the sudden urge to take a shear. And I'm back. That was refreshing. And I'll put this on there and then do this. That's that out, that's this off. And here we have the speaker. Still connected. And here we have Mr. Peanut having a look around to see what is going on. And he's off again. All right, so here we have it on my desk, ready to go. Let's try out the last track that I made. You can find this by going to my second channel or by clicking on the playlist in the description. Now, I'll be adding more tracks to that playlist and a couple of people have asked me for bass boosted versions of songs that are already on my other channel, so I'll think about doing them. Really, I recommend you get a system with a sub. That way, you get the best quality sound and you don't need bass boosted tracks. All right, so let's press play. And the last time I did this with the guitar speaker, I blew it before even testing it properly. Thank you. 
This is barely moving. Oh wow, it barely even moves when I try to move it. And that there is how dusty it was. All right, well, I'm gonna to have to turn up the volume on this. But first what I'll do is I'll change the track. That's an advert. And... All right, let's start off with 10 hertz. That's moving. 15. 18. 22. 26. 28. And I can smell something. Oh, that's quite warm. Now we're back down to 10 hertz. All right, I've turned up the volume even more and we'll play that first track again and see what happens. This time I'm low passing it because it kind of gets a little loud. And it's dead. Wow. Didn't take much. Uh, now what? Uh, what we have here is this. It's an Edge 6x9. That's the wattage on it right there. I don't know why they put that there. It's actually half that. Or at least that's what it says on the back. All right, so I've put this speaker on the desk because I want to give you a tip or two. And this, uh, I think I can get quite a bit of decent bass out of it. This will work with any frequency. But let's say you want to get the best bass out of this as you can during a recording. What you would do is play audio through this and then move your head closer to it and try to hear where the best bass is and then place the microphone at that distance. Just remember that the higher the frequency, the more directional the sound is. Okay, so second tip for getting better bass out of your speaker when you're trying to demo it that you see that this came with my butt kicker the big vibrational unit that vibrates stuff so i've got five of these and what you would do is place these say for example underneath your sofa legs or uh, whatever it is that the butt kicker is mounted to that way the item of furniture you happen to be sitting on can shake so as you can see i've got the speaker on top of it and what happens is when the low frequencies come through the speaker it shakes the desk and it sounds really good. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll show you what I'm talking about. And every now and then what I'll do is I'll lift this off the desk that is underneath it, and then I'll place it back and you should be able to hear the difference, I think. So yeah, putting that there, 
makes quite a bit of difference. Now, the other thing you might have to experiment with is microphone placement. So if you're trying to capture low frequencies, place your head in front of the speaker and wherever it sounds good, put your mic there. The same sort of goes for other frequencies too, but the higher the frequency, the more directional it is. So you've got to be aware of that. I think that's about it for now, really. Um, yeah. And there she is now staring at a reflection on the wall, which is reflecting off of the camera, which I can't film because it moves.